Last week, I released a video on the difference between American college football and Canadian college football. In the comments section of that video, multiple people requested that I do a video on Mexico's version of American college football, aka the Organación Nacional Estudiantil del Fútbol Americano, aka ONEFA. You won't want to miss this one. But before we get into this, if you enjoy college football content like this, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'm planning to release multiple videos a week this season. Also, let me know which international college football league you want me to cover next in the comment section below. I have so much fun making these videos and learning about other countries' versions of college football. ONEFA is the major college football league in Mexico and began in 1978. Although American football had been played in Mexico since the early 1920s at different colleges and universities. Most of this occurred in Mexico City, the capital of Mexico. The first professional championship occurred in 1928 and from the 1920s to 1970s, the group of universities participating in American college football grew exponentially. There are four fuerzas or categories or divisions in Mexico college football with the first fuerza aka the National League beginning in 1970 but had its name changed in 1978 to what it is now known as today, ONEFA. The Comisión Nacional Deportivo Estudiantil de Instituciones Privadas aka the Cona Deep was created in 2010 for the private schools providing scholarships to players. The Cona Deep, as of 2018, had 11 teams in two conferences, while the ONEFA consisted of 23 different teams in three different conferences and is made up of most of the public universities. In 2018, the championship game between the Kona Deep champion and the ONEFA champion was played with the Kona Dep champ Boregos Toluca beating Pumas to win the 2017 national championship. During the 2018 season, the ONEFA and Kona Dep could not reach an agreement for the season, so no national title was played that year. To my understanding, the Kona Deep would later disband with schools like Boraigos, Salvajes, Toluca having their teams disbanded. Toluca would actually have their team disbanded this past spring. The universities that originally participated in the ONEFA were the Universidad Autónoma de Nuevo León, Universidad Autónoma de Champingo, the Instituto Politecnico Nacional, the Universidad Autónoma de Cojuela, the University Autónoma de Chihuahua, and the University Autónoma Agregat Antonio Nero. Today, the ONEFA is formed by 100 teams divided into four categories. Liga Mayor, also the college level, Liga Intermedia, undergrad or varsity high school, Liga Juvenal, two categories, junior high and middle school, and Liga Infantil, six categories, middle school and elementary school. Liga Mayor originally had two conferences, the Big 8 Conference and the National Conference. The winner of the National Conference would be promoted to the Big 8 Conference, while the team that finished last in the Big 8 was demoted to the National Conference. That would change in 2015 with 19 teams participating in three conferences. Those three conferences are the Green, White and Red Conferences. The Green and White Conference champions play for the national championship. The most dominant team at the ONEFA level is Boregos Salvejas Monterrey, which had won 15 national titles as of 2016, including five straight from 2004 to 2008. The New York Times deemed them as the Alabama of the ONEFA. Heavy is the hand that wears the crown though, as this team has been linked to multiple controversies in the past. The ITESM and other Monterey Institute teams have been accused several times of recruiting the star players from other universities by giving them need-based private scholarships. Monterey Institute is one of the most expensive universities in Mexico and almost instantly receives a yes response by the public university students who can't afford the type of education. This is something the public schools in Mexico struggle to compete with, which is why the schools were split up into different leagues. Mexican college football when compared to the NCAA talent-wise falls somewhere between the Division II and Division III level. In 2009, Borregos Salvejas beat Blinn College in Texas, which was led by quarterback Cam Newton in a scrimmage. One former player told the New York Times, We didn't know anything about the team. We heard all this talk about this great Division I quarterback playing for them. A team of Mexican All-Star players have also beaten a team of Division III All-Stars multiple years as well. 
Frank Gonzalez, the former coach of the Wild Rams, and a man who tried to have his team join the NCAA in the past, told the New York Times, I would say they are like a midway Division II team or a strong Division III. There have been many players good enough to play in the NFL, but there are many more players good enough in the United States. There's no pipeline here to send them to the league. The town on these rosters is starting to grow as American football popularity has exploded in recent years with the NFL and even college playing to play games south of the border. The Big 12 is considering a potential bowl game in Monterey after the 2026 regular season. This game would take place at, at a stadio BBVA, a 53,000 seat stadium. Big 12 Commissioner Brett Yormark said in a statement, Mexico is a natural extension to the Big 12 footprint and I'm thrilled to introduce the Big 12 Mexico as the conference's first ever international presence. Through Big 12 Mexico, our student athletes will have the opportunity to compete in international settings and our conference will have the chance to showcase our brand across Mexico. They are playing a pair of basketball games during the 2024 season in Mexico City. Youth programs are sprouting up everywhere, also growing the game of football even more in Mexico, which according to the NFL, has the second most fans for the game with 20 million people. There are over 8,000 students who play football between the Cona Deep and the Onefa, and they play in stadiums that seat 30,000 people. There have also been a handful of Onefa players that have made it to the NFL as well. A few weeks ago, the Wild Rams even played at NRG Stadium, showing the sport growing even more. I think it is awesome the game of football is going around the world, and I am having a blast making this series for y'all. What do you think? How popular can American college football become in Mexico? Let me know in the comment section below. Also, let me know what other countries I should cover in this series in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out one of my other videos YouTube thinks you will love right here. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more college football content. Thank you so much for watching and as always, remember to embrace the grind.